Yeah, so customers will soon have to pay more for electricity after the Oklahoma Corporation Commission approved a rate hike earlier today. News on 6's Grant Stevens shows us why the commission approved the increase. And Grant, for those of us paying more, of course, we want to know what that money will be used for. Yeah, that was my big question too, Brian. So I asked a PSO spokesperson about what projects these new fees would be paying for and, of course, how much it would cost us. The average public service company of Oklahoma residential customer will see their bills increase by about five bucks a month, or roughly 5%. The bottom line is this is about a stronger, more secure electric grid for PSO customers. And what that means is fewer and shorter outages. PSO spokesman Wayne Green says the rate hike is more about covering the cost of past projects. That's the way the process works. We, we, we invest in, in, in the system and the Corporation Commission uh, audits uh, are uh, what we spent the money on, make sure that it was prudent, and then, and then rules whether or not we get to recover that. The approval means PSO will recover what it's spent on things like new power lines, technology that keeps grid blackouts to a minimum, and big green energy projects. We have brought two wind farms uh, uh, online in the last year, and we have a third one that will come online early next year. A key phrase here is how the Corporation Commission words its approval, saying the proposed rates were fair, equitable, and just. Green says even with the increase, PSO rates will stay competitive, but he understands why some will be frustrated by any increase in cost. We understand that anytime you talk about a higher cost of living, even a, a very modest one like this, that, that hurts consumers. He says PSO has sections on its website where customers can find out ways to reduce the cost of their bill to lighten the financial load. The Corporation Commission also met today to discuss PSO's recovery plan from last February's winter storm. Live in Tulsa, Grant Stevens, Oklahoma's own News on 6.